Hello again, everybody. This is Jidmanosta coming back with uh, the Road to Templar, Episode Three: a Man on a Mission. And uh, today we're playing Manhunt on uh, Castle Gandolfo. And I'm by myself. It was uh, the first night the game had come out. Uh, I had uh, I'd played a little bit of the story, and before I went to bed, I like. <laughs> I think it was like 4 or 5 a.m. or some crap like that. Uh, I decided to get back on, play a few more games, and test out my luck, you know, by myself. And I'm still only using the two default abilities because I don't have enough Abstergo credits to kind of make my own yet. And I don't even think I was level 5 for this. But, um... That's another thing they did with this game. Abstergo credits. Uh... Essentially, they work uh, exactly like the Call of Duty Black Ops um, credits do. Only you don't get as many for each game. Like, I think the most I've gotten personally was like 30. And that was... That's an if, you know. I mean, they reward you if you come back and you log into the multiplayer and you play uh, every day, every week. If you're consistent, you're going to get more. Um, but it's still kind of a bit annoying when everything, you know, costs a shitload and you get very little, uh, a very little amount to start with. But uh, that kill, I saw the guy. And I was looking for where they were coming from up top and not really paying attention to that guy. So that's, you know, my stupidity on that death. And uh, I actually die a lot in this first round. I have a very shitty round, unfortunately. Um, but my offense, just like always, my offense gets on point uh, when I come up for that. So... Um, if, if that doesn't tell you, I, I understand offense in a game. I don't know what does. Um, I don't I don't quite remember if I talked... I, no, I know I talked about the meter building up to Incognito in the first video. Um, but at this point, I kind of don't like it. Because it takes so long for me to have to set up a kill now. Because I don't start as Incognito. And, uh, I feel that I really should, because if I walk up and I come around a corner with a morph group, say I'm disguised, the guy does not know it's me. I'm still only discreet and have to build up, so if my walking group goes past them and I'm still not, say, I'm not in silent or I'm not in incognito yet, I still have to wait and then turn around and completely give away my position to them and say yes this is me you know I, I am this person uh, come kill me or come stun me uh, not kill obviously but come stun me you know hit me with uh, uh, throwing knives or something which is something they kind of added a defensive property to which I like it's not just an offensive ability anymore because um, what happens with throwing knives in this game is when you throw it, they it hits them in the gut and they keel over for a second. And what that does for defense is it gives you a momentary uh, stun window. So you can throw it at them and then follow the knife. And while they're keeled over, you can stun them and they're not going to be able to kill you. Whereas in Brotherhood, it was straight. It hit them, but it only slowed them down. And they could still kill you without you actually being able to stun them. So, I do like the fact that they've added defensive properties to certain offense-only weapons from Brotherhood, but I'm getting off topic here, you know. The, uh, the build-up meter for the approach, uh, right now, I'm on, I'm on the downside of it. Like, I don't really like it too much because it slows down what my offense would, would be or could be because... I have to wait for the build up which there's times where I'm like this kill should definitely just be incognito just wham wham I kill him he can't do anything and it's fucking over 
but that's not the case and I only get a few discrete kills. Now I run a silent package, a silent kill package, but even then it doesn't just go, you know, once you pass that line for discrete you're silent. Like it doesn't do that. Like you have to build up to the second bar because there's three bars on the meter uh, when my offensive round starts you can look at it and uh, you start at discrete and if you go down you actually go reckless which is what um, discrete was in Brotherhood. Uh, so you would only get 50 points. Now the discrete bonus is 150 points which I do kind of like that they're like okay we're going to not completely gimp you for your kill if it's only discrete because you start there. So that's that's pretty good. But um, as you can tell, my defensive round was garbage. I mean, I didn't even break 1500, and I died like six or seven times. Like it was absolutely ridiculous, and uh, not not proud of it. But it's one of those things. And uh, it seems also uh, that I'm noticing, and it happens in this game a couple of times for me. So on kills that I shouldn't get big points, I end up making decent points because of the variety bonus. Now in Brotherhood, you could get the variety bonus. Um, I guess fairly simple, depends on how you play. Uh, it seems in this, like especially in this round, I get a variety, a greater variety, and an extreme variety all in the same fucking game. And it seems like I don't even try anything. Like, it just, like, I just get massive amounts of points for those to help me increase my offense. And I'm glad because, you know, my offense was, or my defense was garbage, but. Uh, definitely try your best guys to get those uh, variety bonuses because they help. Um, you'll see coming up in a video where I straight run at a guy, get a reckless kill, which should only be a 150 point kill for the kill and the 50 plus bonus, but because I get a greater variety and an assist on top of that because my teammate had him marked, I get 650 points. I mean... That's that's quite a difference, you know, going from 150 to 650. So, try for those bonuses and uh, do this. Right there. Do that after every fucking kill, if you can. If not, say you get a teammate stunned next to you. If you kill somebody, just hit Y anyway, because if you revive them, you get 50 points. If you taunt them, hey, you just taunted the guy and he gets to fucking watch, okay? And, uh,. It's pretty cool. They all have uh, custom animated taunts. Uh, there's a few stuns, stun animations in the game. And uh, before I go into it, this is the kill right here. Like, just look at the bonuses that pop up. And uh, you'll see 650. I should only have had 150 points right there. But because of the, I, got, I was able to get bonuses, uh, you know, and, and varieties and whatnot. I earn a decent score for a kill. But back to what I was saying. Taunt or revive your teammates. Um, which is something that I like. I like they added that. Um, right there, I wasn't actually trying to taunt the guy. I was going to legitimately attempt to revive my teammate. And it just didn't work. Now, on the flip side, if you're the one being stunned and you hit Y... It works exactly like it did in Brotherhood with uh, uh, you desyncing out. So try not to do that if you have teammates around you that can revive you because uh, worse come to worse, they don't revive you and you get up. But if they do revive you, it's 50 points. So remember that. You know, points are everything in Manhunt. And, uh, Reading a few things on the forums and whatnot, they uh, the new mechanics for the game, which we're still learning, obviously, uh, apparently work out with the new game modes they've added. But with game modes that were competitive in Manhunt, uh, they kind of kind of screw it up a bit, uh, and it's hard to get those uh, really high-scoring 
uh, rounds. Like I've broken 7K a few times. I still haven't broke 10K. Um, I'm working on it. I'm pretty sure once I unlock uh, a decent uh, attack and defense build for myself when I get enough Abstergo credits, of course, um, then I can bring you guys some like you know 10K plus games or high end uh, 7, 8K games. So looking forward to those days to come but uh, uh, looking looking forward to bringing you guys some more high scoring rounds and uh, you'll see from my score at this um, obviously my defensive round sucked but my offensive round was great so uh, I'm still learning the defensive mechanics of the game the offensive stuff I have my own little complaints but uh, we did it last night when we were playing the you know about the the ground finishes there's a couple of videos that you're gonna see from uh later games where I'm actually with my team um where again we're we're kicking people's heads in like we're the fucking mob and they haven't paid their bills to us so they're not getting any more protection they're just getting fucking executed it's pretty amazing um so there's a couple of things like that that are cool the the abstergo credit system. It's decent, like you see there. I got what? What is that? Like 19, 15 something. So it's just a matter of getting more and buying the abilities that I need. Anyway, that is my time, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jidmanosta. Peace.